Hi everyone, today we're back with a tree services business. Like usual guys, I'm starting off my morning here at the local coffee shop and I did grab a lunch uh, to go so I should be good to go for the day here. But really quickly guys, look at my daily driver. This is also my second work truck here. This is a 2014 Ram 2500. But hey, why don't we hop in the truck and head over to the yard. This Cummins sure does sound good here with that tune I installed pretty recently. But guys, there's a full mods list link down below and hit the like button if you end up enjoying today's video. Today guys should be a pretty fun one here. A few days ago, I got a phone call from a homeowner here. They say they own a lake house here in town and a tree fell down here. So we're going to be heading over to clean it up and they also want another tree removed here. That way, this one doesn't uh, fall and can prevent any future damage. You guys might be asking Square, why is there a ladder in the pickup truck? Well guys, I actually went to give a quote yesterday and I had to run over here to the yard to pick it up so we're gonna have to put it on the truck and trailer. Alright I'm just taking the tie down straps off so we should be good to go to pick this up and put it on the trailer. I think this should be uh, okay here. This will be perfect. I mean this is a long long ladder. Yeah that should be fine here. We don't want to lose it going down the road but uh, today guys we're gonna be using the Vermeer mini skid loader. Today, we're going to be using a new work truck. Huge shout out goes out to Buckeye State Farm for sending over the cab in the bed. His website link is down below here. But guys, this is a 2014 Ford F-250 Power Stroke 4x4. It's a bit, just a basic XL a truck here. But this thing, guys, is sweet. And the other thing, guys, we have a full matching generation interior, which makes it even better here. But I'm just going to check a few things on my phone and we'll head on over to the job. You guys might be asking Squirrel, well, where is your yard? I actually just rent uh, parking spots uh, from the local warehouse here. It's like $500 a month, and that is a lot cheaper than having a full shop here, especially right now with just uh, one truck and trailer. It's all we really need to get the job done. Regular cab long bed pickup trucks are my favorite here, especially this one here. I'm a huge fan of this body style by Ford here, but I'm just trying to find my way over to a local lake. It is a pretty decent sized lake. I do know that you could have boats on it as well, which is pretty cool. Alright, we made it to the street here. We just have to find it exactly. The gate's open. This is actually a private road here. A lot of these lake houses are owned by people from out of town. And that just adds an extra layer of security here. But you guys can see the lake there in the distance. I'm not sure how many boats will be in. But hopefully, maybe our homeowner is home. He could take us out on his lake boats. I think that would be really fun. The next lot up here should be our customer's house. And oh boy, guys. Wow, what an entrance that is here. That is a pretty big tree that fell and needs to be cleaned up here. So let's see. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, we could just pull right in the driveway. I think this will do here for us. And I do want to get the Vermeer warmed up here really quickly before we take a quick walk around. All right, I got the Vermeer fired on up here. Took a few tries. Uh, it's been sitting for three, four days. But wow, guys, look at that. This looks to be a 25, 30 foot tree. Luckily, it seems like it fell kind of on the porch area and not on the main structure of the house here. Doesn't look like any windows are damaged. Wow, I think they got really lucky here. So we have to remove this tree. And then they also want us to remove this pine here. They said they're worried this one is going to fall. And that sure does look like there's quite a bit of bark on that. So we'll get those cleaned up here. So I'm thinking, guys, we should probably get going with the ladder first to get up on the porch area and get all those branches kind of cut off and put off on back onto lawn. All right, we should be good right there. And guys, this 25 foot ladder is really heavy for a single person, but we're able to do it here. Let's see, let's see. We'll uh, get the uh, still chainsaw running. Really want to be as quickly as we can and do a good job. If I cut it right about here, guys, the tree's gonna end up falling. Perfect. That actually worked out quite well here. We'll just kind of throw these off the uh, roof here and the customer did ask to take a few pictures of the roof for them so that they could uh, get it repaired if needs it here but let's see let's see I don't think actually the roof is in really good shape all right let's see if we could take these branches off here this is always one of the most time uh, consuming parts is actually getting all these uh, branches cut off here that looks to be good there and we'll just keep on going down perfect 
and we do want this to fit in the bed of the pickup truck here. So right around, I'm gonna go for six to seven foot here. That way we have a little bit of room to make sure the tailgate closes as well. All right, guys, we're going to go to hop on the Vermeer here. But oh, look at that, guys. There's a deer running there in the distance. Oh, look, there's another one over there. Guys, that is so cool. We could see wildlife here in the game. And really quickly, I just put the tailgate down. So we're going to go here. Now, this Vermeer, guys, definitely saves our back quite a bit here. Although it is small, it is so handy here for jobs like this. I'm thinking we should get started off on the bigger pieces here. That way these are at the bottom, which means we have a lower center of gravity on the truck, which I think is going to be needed here because these are going to be some pretty big pieces. This is one heavy log here. Looks like it's a little bit longer than 8 feet, but hey, uh, no problem here. We just have to make sure we don't end up taking off the uh, solid bed. And oh, look at that, guys. This is perfect size here. Let's see, we just wanted to roll right off the grapple. This might take a try or two, and perfect. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit longer there, but we could still tow the trailer. I'm picking up the last of that tree here. The first part of the job is complete. And guys, I think we're going to have to come back here, make a second trip. No problem. The local area, the local sawmill is just down the road here. So it uh, will be back uh, right after lunchtime here. But today was a pretty fun one, guys. Getting to use a Vermeer uh, to do some cleanup here at the lake house here. And you guys might be asking, where's the lake? Look at that. That is an unbelievable view back here. And we should be seeing a lake boat here shortly oh yeah look at it way down there that is sweet but guys i hope you all enjoyed today's video here it was a pretty fun one getting to use our new to us f250 in the vermeer mini skid loader until next time thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more